Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, we're going up against D4. Do you want to play into D4? I'm kind of tempted to just respond back with D5. I've had bad luck with going Knight F6 and trying this. So I think it's called the King's Indian thing. So I think we'll just go with D5. Mm -hmm. Just protect d5 with the knight here. I guess I'm a bit concerned if he pushes up c5, it's going to make it really awkward for my dark square bishop. That's the main thing I'm looking at. We'll get the light square bishop out. Okay. It's actually good. He basically just pins his knight here. I wonder if I could take advantage of that at all. Probably a good time to push e6, I imagine. Get the dark square bishop out. I kind of want to go h6 to prevent knight g5. I'll just take here. Those bishops just lined up with all these uh, pawns on the light squares. I think it's okay. Uh, I'm really tempted to go on c5. Now that his bishop is over here, I'm and he still has a c4 pawn. I'm not too worried about getting checked over here. I guess I am still worried about getting checked by the queen. So I'm going to play a very safe move and just go bishop e7. And then castle. I almost thought he would have went queen a4 there, but I guess he had other plans, so it's all good. I'll castle as well. Next step, I guess, is going to be to get the queen out and connect the rooks and get the knight out as well. I'm going back and forth between knight c6 and knight d7. I'm not quite sure what the best option here is. It's a bit of a bummer that I couldn't take out his d4 pawn, but when he pushed up c4, that kind of ruin that plan, I feel. I believe that opening was the queen gambits, if I'm not mistaken. The queen's gambit, not gambits. Singular gambit, not plural gambit. <laughs> He wants to trade. I'm really tempted to try to set up 
something like that. But he wants to take that pawn. Mm. I think this is better for me because he only has two defenders on e4. So no matter what he takes with here, we're just going for an even trade. It's a very tradey game. I have to be careful uh, of this pawn here. I think that's why he was going for that. If um, Probably the best thing to do here. Uh, let's think. We go knight c6. He can push the pawn up. I can take... I think he honestly might push the pawn up. Um, I think on knight c6, this protects the b7 pawn. Not so much protects it, but it stops it from getting taken. And if he wants to take the knight with the bishop, I'll just recapture with the pawn. I doubt he'll do that, though. Maybe I missed something there. Okay, I believe he's trying to take this pawn here with his bishop. <clears throat> so I can either move the king over. I believe king h8 is actually the play here. Yeah, I think king h8 is the play here. It's either bishop g5 and try to trade. Then I'll be winning a queen there. Or move the king to h8. I kind of like the idea of moving the king to h8 a little bit better. I don't think he's going to sack the bishop. Don't really want the open h file. Um, just going to trust my gut on this one and go h8. Oliver Kahn. A super even game. I'm just listening to the background noise at the moment. It sounds like the older bundle of joy just hit his mother. This this tisk. There's going to be some consequences later once Dedio is finished playing chess. <laughs> uh Mm -hmm. Um, I was thinking c7 this whole time just to connect the rooks and it still protects the 
bishop, and then I kind of want to go for this sneak thing over here. I'm debating between... Hmm. Could go bishop f6. But... Yeah, bishop f6. It's it's very easy for him to protect that, so I don't really care so much about that move, but it does pin the pawn. But I do want to get the queen out. And maybe I can make something work along this diagonal here. Okay, we saw that coming. I could go for like a funky on f5, start attacking the queen thing. Mm. But... I don't really want to lock the bishop in this way. If I go, if I put a rook on d8, it's going to be like very landlocked, I feel. Mm. I guess the only thing we can really do here is like improve the position. Oh, right. I think he's going to try to push the pawn up and then look for mate. So I'm just going to block in his plans here. He's playing really good. This pawn is loose here. Probably won't hurt to put a rook out on the open file, I imagine. I'll probably do the same. I feel like I'm set up pretty well here.
I'm thinking like queen a5 to try to scope this pawn, but I think it's kind of a pointless mission. Maybe I'll just play a random pawn move and go like pawn a5 or something. Uh, I probably might want to move the rook to f8 or something. Okay, c5. If I go c5 and he takes... Boom. 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 Wouldn't that maybe win a rook? Or no, because it's defended by the, by the queen here. Um, I don't know. I'm tempted to just push a pawn up. Go to a5. I'm debating between a5 and c5. Uh, a5 or c5? I don't know. Also, rookie 8. Or queen a5. Queen a5 is kind of like a lame move. It's really easy to spot that that pawn is under attack. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to try it. I kind of just need to make a move, you know? So... He go he goes ahead and takes. I kind of want to get his bishop off the board here. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting his bishop off the board. Maybe it's better for him. Either let's see the rook trade. I don't really want him to get his queen out here. I think I'll just initiate the trades this way. He goes that way. Yeah, so then I can win this pawn here. I just want to examine my options, you know. I'm going to get this pawn off the board. He just takes back with the queen. I get this pawn here. I'd like to attack his queen. Actually, I kind of like the queen attack because if he moves it um, and he doesn't protect d1, 
it's actually just mate. So I'm kind of tempted to just try this move. Maybe he'll do something. I mean, I'm more than willing to bet he's just going to protect this pawn. He's being really careful, so I'm willing to bet he's going to protect the back rank. So I basically have two choices here. I can go for the really risk rook d8, try to hope that he moves his queen over back here or something. Um, more than likely, he's just going to move over and protect the pawn. But I suppose... Ah... Uh, I'm going to play the safe route and just take the pawn and even it up. I, I don't think he would fall for this for this thing here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have went for it. I'm actually just going to try it. Was it move 22? I'm going to try move 22 in the post game and see what happens. Probably have to go either b6 or b1. I think b6, protect the pawn, and then protect d8. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. He may go like d6, queen d6, or not, yeah, he might go queen d6. So he has one extra pawn on the uh, queen side. I have one extra pawn on my uh, king side as well. Queen side, king side. He has one extra pawn on this side of the board. I have one extra pawn on this side of the board. That's what I'm trying to say. He's not hanging anything. <laughs> uh,
I'm trying to keep uh, D8 protected here. That's my that's my main thing. Do the check here. Um, I can maybe hope that he just blocks him with his queen and. Yeah, he didn't do that, so I kind of have to go protect d8 again. Kind of lame, but... Or do I really have to? Hmm. I always run the king out to like h7. Am I ready to put the rook out on c8? Not really. <laughs> Uh, such a risk. I actually could pin his rook here. Yeah, his rook gets pinned here if I can put my rook out here. Let's see if he notices that. He might have to move his king back here. I can finally go rook d8 and actually just win the rook. If he has like one chance to not pin this rook. Oh, that's very good for me. That is very, very good for me. Yeah, I was basically just waiting for like one tactic to present itself. And I think that was it. Yeah, once I take this rook, it's going to come with check, and we'll be, we'll be forced to recapture it with the queen, and then I'll just take it back. Oh. <laughs> oh, GG. It's not over, though. He misclicked the original queen d3 instead of queen d2. Hmm. Let's go see what he's talking about. The original queen d3 instead of queen d2. Oh, is he trying to go over here? Oh, I see. So yeah, if he would have went d2, I wouldn't have been able to play c1. But either way, he should have just moved his king here. The queen move doesn't really do anything because the pawn's protected. He had to uh, prevent his rook from getting pinned here. But um, let me go back. I think it was move 23. But yeah, GG though, um, Oliver Kahn. Uh, he played really well. And I think this may be my highest accuracy I've ever seen. This is a really fun, um, fun round. To be fair, it was very just trade heavy. Um, the moves were kind of just in front of me. <laughs> so, wow, 1700. I've never seen that before. He, and like I said, he played really well. Minus that last move. I'm glad this was the move. Uh, so what was I debating here? I was debating rook d8. But this is actually pretty bad. Yeah. So then queen c2. Yeah, so I'm glad I took the pawn here. Um, I was hoping, or I guess what I was trying to calculate was that if he went anywhere that didn't protect the back rank, it would have been mate. Like if he would have tried to look for something funny out here, um, I believe it would have been very, well, let me take that back. I guess where could he have really gone? Well, never mind, because basically anywhere that he goes, he's going to be protecting the back rank from D1. Okay, so that was actually a miscalculation, so I'll take that back. But, um, yeah, GG. Um, kind of weird to win on a misclick. 
But um, yeah, it is what it is. I've played plenty of misclicks too, so <laughs> I know how it goes. But uh, no, I felt like he was a, a really good player. But um, yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.